Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2008 BMW 328 X-Drive wagon. This is a, uh, it's a clean title, clean Carfax, non-smokers car. I can finance this car through Alaska Federal Credit Union. We can put an extended warranty on it and we welcome trades. So we like the wagons, especially of this generation. They're hard to find. Uh, this has got 77,000 miles on it. It's all current on its service. doesn't need anything. The tires are good. Um, it's clean, very clean. So this is a platinum metallic paint. It's got uh, the cold weather package on it, which you can tell because it's got the headlight washers on it. It's got navigation, Bluetooth, premium package, panoramic roof. I don't think there's any curb brush on the wheels, but I'm not sure about that. So, and the tires are new. So we like these. Uh, they do make wagons that are non all wheel drive. So if you're looking at these, you want to make sure it's got an X I on the back, uh, just to confirm, because if it doesn't, they, uh, they definitely make them in a two wheel drive version. And that's, well, we, I, I don't like all wheel drives. They're hard to sell in Oregon, but that's what you're looking for. I guess that's good. So there you go, the CXI, if this was two wheel, that would just be an I. Then the new ones actually say X drive on the side. So you can see that it's clean. You've got the cargo cover back here. You've got the books. I've got two keys. Under here is just storage. You've got a license plate frame for the front. So we like the wagons in Portland. They're super functional. People uh, use them for hauling kids and pets around. They're practical and they're still fun to drive because they're BMW, so a little more performance based. These and the Audis have been, uh, the A6s have been good rigs or the all-roads. But nothing drives like a BMW, that's why people like them. It's a, more of a driving experience where Audi or Mercedes is more of a riding experience. So you've got wood trim, you do have leather. You can see it's very, very clean. They have tan interior. Panoramic roof, which means it's got a double sunroof in it. I believe that's part of the premium package, uh, which was also means it's got a um, multifunction steering wheel. So this button here to the left of the power uh, mirrors means you've got a power folding mirror, and that's nice. That means you can tuck those in when you park downtown, which is especially nice. And then uh, dual power seats. See the leather's in real good shape. Um, Maybe I just have one key because that's all I've got in here. So I'm going to say one master key. I'll correct that. So I've got push button start. Uh, this is indicative of iDrive down here. So this is how you access your menu. That's how you toggle through your menu. You've got a Steptronic transmission, which is an automatic transmission. You have dual heated seats. Let me uh, turn the lights on. It makes it a little easier to see. So dual heated seats, you've got a CD player, a six disc changer, you have dual auto climate control, and then this is your iDrive system up here. So on the right, you've got navigation, so all your map information, stuff like that. Up here is communication, that's Bluetooth. Down here is entertainment, so your AM, FM, CD, and auxiliary inputs. Climate control over here, which tells you about your, uh, your uh, climate settings and heated seats, and then this, is your onboard computer information so if you go in here and look at info sources and look at service you can go in and see the status of this car is all good so the brake fluid is good until uh, August of next year the oil is good until March of 2017 doesn't need an inspection until 2018 you've got 36,000 miles on the front brakes and 36,000 miles on the rear brakes so basically those are new so that's nice uh, three buttons here for home link, programmable security gates and garage door openers. And as I mentioned, you have a panoramic roof, which is dual. Let me turn the heated seat off, it's getting hot. You have a multi-function steering wheel. So this is a programmable button for uh, voice activation. This would scroll through radio stations and CDs. Over here you've got Bluetooth and voice activation. And then you have volume control. Mm -hmm. Down here is your cruise. And then you've got your onboard computer system. And then uh, lights. and. Uh, your ability to toggle through with this button, your onboard computer system. And then over here, front and rear wipers. You've got uh, driving lights and then automatic headlights. And then you hit that button and your mirror pops back out to where it's supposed to be. Anyway, 77,889 miles. Really clean, uh, it's really in really good shape. You can see by the dash, you can see the door trim, 
uh, and then everything else. It's super clean. These are hard to find. They didn't make a lot of uh, wagons um, back in this generation with BMW. And then the other thing was they were not selling a lot of luxury vehicles in 2008. And so you take that um, coupled with the fact that they don't make a lot of wagons or didn't at that point anyways, they're hard to find. So if you've got questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us. We can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.